Okay guys, I need to call out all the non-vegan social media justice warriors that spit hatred on veganism because they think it's racially unjust. Let's address this. Now, there are plenty of ignorant people of all colors, shapes, and sizes, but I have found that they are usually white. Or maybe they just find me. But I am not convinced that they have taken an ounce of time listening to the vegan BIPOC community if they ignorantly think that veganism is racially unjust. People are racially insensitive. Veganism never said anything about color. Veganism doesn't exclude anyone. But yes, I hear you, the white privileged vegan community is the loudest and they could also benefit from listening to the vegan BIPOC community, so therefore, this is for them as well. Because if you think that black voices matter, then don't act like they don't exist. Because if you can't name a book, or podcast, or social media channel from someone in the vegan BIPOC community, then you need to shut your butthole, open up those ear holes because you got some listening to do. Stop defending and speaking for a community that you don't represent. They speak for themselves, so put your ego aside and check out these authors, educators, and more. A. Breeze Harper, Jamelia Anahata, the soulful veganista, Dr. Milton Mills, Professor Spira. Comment below other BIPOC voices that speak from the vegan community. Veganism is linked to racial injustice, but it stands against oppression, not for it. Decolonize your mind, body, and spirit. Veganism is beyond color, class, and creed. In your research, ask yourself why the BIPOC community is becoming one of the fastest growing demographics in the vegan community. What is keeping the BIPOC community committed to a vegan diet and the white community having such a high turnover rate? Why are they taking it for granted? Could it possibly be privilege, money, and the ease and access to healthcare? Find out. Live long and prosper.